Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, etc. Raka Kwadash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shall I warm also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I wanted to do this quick response, a sort of response, you know, to the lesson that was put together by the elder Yashawamba, which is entitled um, Anti-Messiah on the Rise in Israel. So you can go check out that lesson, that video on his channel, very edifying lesson. And the name of the channel is um, Remnant Saved 144 Bar. So that lesson was actually speaking about Sikari and he wanted to... It was actually urging the people to go, you know, do research on the on the meaning of the name Sikari, you know, in which um, this is a spirit in which we need to have white coming to this truth. You know, we should be ready to walk because this truth means walk. You know, you make researches, you know, you don't just take in whatever is being told to you. You go do your own researches through the spirits, you know, and you get more understanding. So today I actually just want to base on that lesson you know, bring out the true meaning of the Sikari. And in his lesson, he brought out, he brought out the book of Acts, chapter 21, I believe it's verse 38, which quotes, And not thou, that Egyptian, which before these days made it an uproar, and ledest out into the wilderness, 4,000 men that were murderers. Now, we want to check the meaning of the word murderers. You know, we want to see the word in, in, the, in the Greek. So you see, it tells you the word murderers is sicarios. Sicarios. So now, you have a Hebrew Israelite group, you know, who are called, who call themselves um, the guerrilla Hebrew Israelites, Sicario, they call themselves the Sicari. Okay, now we're going to go into the meaning of that name Sicari and a little bit of the history of who the real Sicaris are. But before going that, before going there, I just wanted to show you some a few scriptures to let you know that you know these people they've been before they were the real original Sicaris, but they are coming back to play their parts again. In prophecy now I'd like to get the book of Ecclesiastes you no know, read chapter 1 verse 9 which quotes the things that had been it is that which shall be which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing on that in under the sun is there anything whereof it may be said see this is new it had already been of old times, which was before us. Now, what is telling you that there is nothing new under the sun. Whatever has been, whatever you see today, it has been also in the past. Now, let's see what this thing is actually talking of. You know, still getting the same book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 6. 6 verse 10. Which tells you that. That which hath been is named already, and it is known that it is man. Okay. That which hath been is named already, and it is known that it is man. So these people that you see today, they have been in, in, in times back, you know. And they have, they are actually doing what they did in the time back, you know. Now, let's get the book of... Um, First Corinthians, First Corinthians fourteen thirty-two, which quotes, 
and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So, meaning, if you were a prophet back in those days, okay, you die, you come back, you're going to come back as a prophet, you know. So, this is also, this is going to something really more deeper. This is reincarnation, which is biblical. You know, the scriptures I'm bringing out are actually showing the proof of the validity of um, reincarnation in the scriptures, which the scripture speaks about reincarnation, you know. So for you to understand more, you just need to write reincarnation, um, GMS reincarnation teachings. You know, there are lots of teachings that were brought out, you know, showing you different scriptures that reincarnation is, um, is biblical. And one other scripture you can also use to understand is, um, is the book of um, is a Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, you know tells you about Elias coming back again. So, well, I don't want to go into all that. The point I just want to bring to you that, you know, the prophets that you see today that are, that are teaching this truth, you know, they have been before. Once they die, they come back again and they follow the lot in which, you know, they've been ordained to follow. If you're wicked, you know, you come back again being a wicked. So now, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 12. We'll go straight to the last verse, which quotes, But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. This is being said to Daniel. So Daniel is going to die, and at the end of the days, he's going to come back and he's going to stand at his lot. You know, just like Yahweh Shai also said, you know, when he comes back, you know, the eyes of those who pierced him they are also going to see him in the book of revelation you know so if you're a prophet you will come back being a prophet if you're wicked you'll come back being a wicked you know so all these false prophets that we see today trying to cause confusion in israel they have actually been of all times you know they are coming back you know playing their lots you know so this so said um group sikari guerrilla hebrew israelite sikari you know they have been back in those days and they were the real sikaris of those days you know in which um judas iscariot one of the 12 disciples of yahweh shai was also a sikario okay which now we're going to go into the meaning of sikari so now you know i already showed you in the book of acts act 21 that sikario actually means murderer Act 21 to those if you don't really if you didn't get it this is the book of act 21 38 you know which goes he says and led us out into the wilderness four thousand men that were murderers now if you go to the word to the root word of that murderers you know it tells you the meaning is sicarius sicarius you see let me play it Strong's G, 4607, Sicarias, Sicarias. So as you see, that's Sicari, the short form of today, Sicari. Now, this is the Wikipedia, I put out the word Sicari. Now, let's see what it tells us. It says, a splinter group of Jewish zealots who strongly opposed the Roman occupation of Judea. Now, you should know the meaning of zealots. Zealots are fanatics, okay? A person who is a fanatical and uncompromising in pursuit of their religious, political, or other ideas. A member of an ancient Jewish sect that aimed at a world Jewish theocracy and resisted the Romans until AD 70, you know? So this gives you the right date until 70 because, you know, these people, they went off in some points now let's read it says sicario redirects here for the terrorist group named after the sicari it says see sicari in 1989 it says for other meaning of the word anyway let's just let's keep that and start from here it says the sicari modern hebrew sicarium were a splinter group of the jewish zealots we already seen the meaning of zealots who in the decades decades um preceding Jerusalem's dis destruction in 70 CE. So Jerusalem was actually destroyed in 70 
70 AD or CE current era, you know, which says strongly opposed the Roman occupation of Judea and attempted to expel them and their sympathizers from the area. So when the Romans, you know, they came to occupy um, Jerusalem, you had the zealots, which are called the Sicarii, you know, they, they came together and they were fighting against the Romans, you know. Now let's see some of their deeds. It says the Sicarii carried Sike or small daggers, you know, concealed in their cloaks. At public gatherings, they pulled out these daggers to attack Romans and alleged Roman sympathizers alike, blending into the crowd after the deed to escape the tension. So they would they would carry, they would walk around with these daggers, you know, they would stab people, stab these Romans. In which this was only just causing more mayhem and putting the, the the Israelites into more troubles because Yahweh Shai already told us, you know, that not to go against you know the powers that be, you know, you should give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar. You know, also in the book of is it Romans 13, you know, it tells you. Let me see. Can. This is the book of Romans chapter 13. And this is this was said actually because of this Sikari. You know, it says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of, of Yahweh. The powers that be are ordained of the most high Yahweh by Shemi Shai. So it's just like saying, you know, we have this government of Esau ruling today, which they are wicked, you know, they we're catching a lot of hell, but we can't fight against them, you know. We cannot fight against these people. Because they are ordained by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. The highest we can do is try to put to the best of our ability the commandments of the Most High and seek the Most High's salvation. You know, this is what the Sikari is meant to do. But, you know, they were actually fighting with their own power, trying to overcome the Romans, in which it was or it has all been written. You know, the book of Daniel, chapter 2, tells you about the last empire, which is the feet, which is the Roman Empire, you know. Which or it actually started from 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 the from the legs, you know, start from the legs, then into this kingdom that we are today, which is also you know, um, let's say a modern Roman kingdom, you know. We can't bring these people down. We need someone to come do that, which is Yahweh Shai. Now, these are the Sikaris, you know. They say they carried small daggers concealed in their clothes at public gatherings. They pulled out these daggers to attack Romans and alleged. Roman sympathizers alike, blending into the crowd after the deed to escape the tension, says the Sicari are regarded as one of the earliest known organized assassination units of cloak and daggers, predating the Islami, Islamic assassin and the Japanese ninja by centuries. The derived Spanish term Sicario is used in contemporary Latin America to describe a hitman working for a drug cartel. In fact, this Sicario, these people, they actually come in the spirit of this Sicari, you know, which tells you that they are actually those same people. But this time around, they are operating spiritually. They take these daggers and they cut people spiritually, you know. They pierce you spiritually and you get weak. You lose blood and get weak with these weak doctrines that they tell you. They tell you not to not to pray to Yahweh Shai. They tell you to go to the club um, on the night of the Passover. Um, they tell you to, um, they tell you the writings of Paul and not the writings of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. These are stabs from their daggers, spiritual daggers, you know, and you lo start losing blood if you're not spiritually strong. You lose blood, you bleed to death, you know. You, f you leave the, 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 this, this truth, you know. You just become a bug out and you, f you leave the truth, you know. You get confused. This is the work of the Sicario, you know. This is what the Sicarios are actually doing, you know. And they're doing it now. They're still operating spiritually right now. So, you know, if you're in the spirit, you know, we've been told, you know, to be to be careful, you know. For many shall not, um, just paraphrasing, many many shall not, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, they shall not take heed, just paraphrasing, they shall not take heed to sound doctrines. You know, they will go after the doctrines of men. 
you know, we're told there are going to be many false prophets, you know, leading people away, you know. So it says in Latin, Sicari is the plural form of Sicarius, okay, dagger man, dagger wielder, Sica, possibly from Proto Albania, Sica, whence Albania, Thika, knife, from Proto Indo European, key to sharpen, okay, possibly. Uh, now let's go to see a little of their history. It says victims of the Sicari are thought to have included the high priest Jonathan. Although it is possible that his murder was orchestrated by the Roman governor Antonio Felix, some murderers were met with severe retaliation by the Romans on the entire Jewish population of the region. You see, so when these Sicarios they committed their horde, their their murder crimes or whatever, the the Romans the Romans that were there, they take this thing and they punish the rest of the people. You know, people suffer for whatever this Sicari commits, in which now Sicari is spiritually, you know, committing some wicked crimes in which many other Hebrew Israelites are meant to pay for, you know, because someone is going to listen to their doctrine. Maybe the person wanted to come into this truth, you know, and the person would not even give it any thoughts anymore of becoming a Hebrew Israelite. You know, this is what they're doing spiritually. Now it says... However, on some occasions, the Sicari would release their in intended victim if their terms were met. Much of this, much of um, much of what is known about Sicari comes from the antiquities of the Jews and the Jewish war by Josephus, who wrote that the Sicari agreed to release the kidnapped secretary of Eleazar, governor of the temple precinct, in exchange for the release of ten captured assassins. You know. At the beginning of the first Roman Jewish war, the Sicarii and possibly Zealot Elpa Josephus differentiated between the two but did not explain the main differences in depth. Anyway, this is the point I want to come to. It says their leaders, including Menahem Ban Yahawada, Yahuda, and Alazar Ban 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 Yar. Okay. Now this is really spiritual because they are the read the leader of this Sikari group right now, this Hebrew Israelite group, his name is Alaz Alazar, and we call him Alize, you know. So you know that in the ancient Hebrew you don't have the E, so it is Alazar, you know. So he read about the Sikari and he took he read about the Sikari and he felt like wow, this represents me. So he created a group. You know, representing the Sicari, and he, he also took the name of the leader. So you see, it's the most I have about Shem Shai doing things, you know, showing people, open your eyes. These are the spiritual things you need to pay attention to. How can you create a group? Okay, you give it the name of murderers, okay, then you take the name of the leader, the so called leader, you know. So, man, <laughs> this is really spiritual, man. When I when the elder Yeshuamba made mention of this, you know, I went to check it out and I saw that, man, this is true, man. So it's the most high Yehoba Hashem Yahusha, you know, showing us, you know, open, opening our eyes today as well. This is how far I would go. I would, yeah, I would say you people should go read the rest for yourselves. You know, it tells you how all the wars that they fought and their rebellion against the Romans. And one which is very, very, um, which is very famous is the end of these Sicarius, you know, they didn't want to submit to the Romans and they preferred to commit suicide, you know, they all suicide them themselves. Sicarius are known for this. So anyway, you know, this is all spiritual. I just wanted to go into this name Sicari to show you that this Hebrew Israelite group that you're seeing, you know, stay away from them, stay away from their doctrines, you know, pray to the Most High Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, he should open your eyes and guide you. You know, but I can tell you that the real true doctrine is in Great Millstone. And that's just to let you know that these people, they actually learned from Great Millstone. They learned the truth from Great Millstone. They split it away or they were, I believe, um, Al-Azhar, the, the, head, the, the head of, uh, the leader of that group was, you know, he was, he was, uh, I think they sent him out of the camp, you know, he was excommunicated or so. 
He sent him out because of some misconduct, you know, and he decided to create his own group. I believe he joined some other groups before creating his own group. Yeah, I believe it was with the HOI. Then he created his own group, you know. So, you know, this is spiritual because, you know, he woke up one day, he went into the history of the Sikari, he read about those people, and he decided to create a group, name it the same thing, and name himself the name of the leader of this group of murderers, you know. So these people are spiritually murdering people, you know, with their doctrines, you know, because what their doc the doctrines they're coming up with now are doctrines that are really going to shake you off, man, if you're not spiritually strong and firm, you know. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I just wanted to bring this out. You know, you should go make more researches yourself and read all this by yourself, you know. So having said this, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka, Kodash, my double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, GMS who taught me this truth. On to the next one. Shalom.